Hey, welcome to this week's edition of Luminator 5.9. We're at the Peterson Auto Museum for the Bruce Myers Classic Car Meetup. So we've got cars from... <laughs> we got cars galore here. I, I lost words, there's so many cars. I walked through the place and it's like, oh man, can't wait to show these cars to you guys. We're gonna get a chance to go through all of these cars, or a lot of them, and take a look at them, at least the best ones. Of course, I haven't seen one that I'm not interested in. Let's go cruise some cars. Oh, by the way, if you like what you see today, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you comment too, because I'd like to have some conversations about these cars. Uh, I don't know anything about, well, I take it back. I do know things about cars. I learned how to rebuild a motor. I have my Hot Wheels. I loved them on TV. I never owned it. And I don't know what it's like to own a classic car. Well, right now they're just what I needed. I didn't have breakfast coming in and they got bagels and they got coffee and cream cheese. Mm. Yep. Bagels. It's been a long time since I had a bagel. Good morning and welcome to the Bruce Fire All American Cruising here at the Peterson. If you haven't already, we've got bagels and coffee underneath the overhang. So if you want bagels or coffee, uh, they're complimentary underneath the overhang on P3. Today is going to be a really exciting day. We've got a whole host of activities. Everything from a star-studded panel discussion to a celebrity uh, ride and drive upstairs on simulators and some really special cars here today. We want to thank everyone for bringing their, their cars out. We've got some amazing cars in the crowd. We have some pretty spectacular display cars. Up front, we've got uh, multiple vehicles from the Ford versus Ferrari film, so if you haven't seen those, uh, that is the display in front of the performance tent. Up front by the stage, we have the T70, which is rarely seen. And on the ramp, we've got Cobra number one belonging to Bruce Meyer. And a Pete Rock Daytona next to Haggerty's Wall.
my neighborhood used to be full of classic cars. I mean, there was like every every driveway on Saturday and Sunday would just be lined up with cars all the way down the street. And then slowly those guys moved away and now I don't see hardly any more classic cars on my street. One of the goals of the Peterson Auto Museum is to preserve the knowledge about classic cars and to serve as a place where people could come and study. So people come here from all around the world just to study automobiles and there's 350 automobiles inside. Oh, my aunt used to have one of these. I remember when she bought it brand new in 66. Oh yeah, my cousin used to torture me. We would sit in the back seat and there was a light that if it went out before you got your seat belts on, he got to hit me. Look at that car. My aunt had nice taste, didn't she? Southern California wants to meet up with their cars. They sure have a lot of cars to meet up with. I'm just now starting to wake up and say holy a lot. Guess there's nothing wrong with holy. Man, this is pretty. I love the color that they picked for it. It is delicious. Very delicious. driven a classic Corvette. My son used to have a 1982 Corvette. And when he was modeling in South Africa, he in Australia, he left it at home. And of course it has to be driven once in a while, so I got to take it out and cruise it. And I loved cruising a Corvette. Except I do have to admit that the first time I got on the freeway with it, I spun the back end out because it's just so much power. If you didn't get enough of Shelby action earlier, they got a whole nother row of Mustangs. And another row of Mustangs. Ooh How do you judge Shelby's? I mean, every single one of them is the best. Now, at the 
it's not a museum. You just don't bring any Shelby. You don't bring any car. You bring your best car because it's going to get picked apart and it's going to be looked at and put up against the best. So all these cars here are in awesome, excellent condition. something you just don't see anymore. You just don't see Pacers. <laughs> How funny. How funny. Well, I'm gonna leave you right here. This was a pretty good car show. Now, did you pick out a favorite? What was your favorite? I think my favorite is sit, standing right behind me. It's an Austin Martin. Out of all the cars here, this is my pick for what I would like to drive, what I would like to own. Yeah, it's not old, it's not classic, but look at that thing. It's just an Austin Martin. But it costs too much money. In fact, that's why I never owned a car, that's a classic car or anything like that, is because I was always concerned about my family and raising my children and getting them all the things that they need, and I couldn't justify spending it on myself. So anyways, from the Peterson Auto Museum, I'm going to leave you right here. Can't wait till our next edition of Luminator 5.9, but we'll see you then.